by the time this podcast comes out, it is very possible that Murat Huznadinov has played his first NHL game against the Anaheim Ducks. Also awesome of the team to not let him participate in warmups on Tuesday because they're like, no, dude's doing his rookie lap when he's actually playing in the game. Done yeah. and done. Um, but you've been saying it for years now. But final little pump here, like, what are the fans in for? Like you said, we have been waiting. Well, I definitely have been waiting anxiously since, I don't know, maybe 12 minutes after they drafted him. I was like, I, this kid is so fucking good. Um, and anyone that wants to get a taste of uh who's Dina, if you want to uh, you know freshen up we do our youtube channel we did throw up the uh Marat, who's a Dina highlight film from the past couple years in the khl it's a longer one than the other highlight videos like it's like 16 minutes or so hey, kudos um, to you by the way Z. like great highlight reel and it hasn't even been a week and it's already got almost five thousand views let's get it to 10 let's go let's go that. i did I did fuck up the first tweet though. I did because I just blindly took the first link I saw in that email you sent me once it was done and posted to YouTube. And that was the Riley Height video. Um, so my when I sent the initial tweet out, I like looked, I was like, oh fuck, I forgot I scheduled this tweet for I think in Minnesota it was 9 a.m. Uh and I looked at it like an hour after I posted the tweet. First comment, Russo, that is height. I was like, fuck. God damn it. God Tough damn it. Dude. And, then, and, then, and then Russo never went back and reshared it either. So that, that's yeah, on you. Yeah. You're wearing that nope, one. I forget who it was. One of one of our other followers, he was a beauty, immediately followed up with the actual link. So shout out. I forget who that was. I wish I, I should have had that handy. But um, Murat Huzadinov, like you said, it was not shocking, but a little bit heartbreaking. He did sign that two year extension um, because he had made it. Very well, though, that he was planning on coming to Minnesota as soon as his K KHL deal ended. Um, and then Russia did Russia things. So he's finally here. He's clearly very excited to be here. What the Wild are getting are or is a two-way elite. One of he's probably looking at their prospect pool now, like especially. Especially like they've targeted guys who really move. He is like there is like a good skater, there is a great skater, and there's elite skating ability. He's got top end speed. He is unbelievably deceptive with his feet, very agile. Um, but he definitely has more upside offensively than he's shown, like especially this year with how bad so she was. Um yeah. no, but answer, his colleague card in here though. How big is he actually? Because Russo came so, out and said he was like 5'11", and I about pissed myself. Dude, uh, so I heard that, and I was shocked because, like, he's been listed. I think when they drafted him, he was 5'9", and I mean, like, 140. And that was so generous. Much. That was generous 5'9". Yeah, I, well, the next year, I remember we did that. We did the prospect show with uh, the sound of the foghorn guys. And I was like, yeah, I, I guess he grew this year. He's five ten on like the, the best of days. Like I, I was like, yeah, be, that feels generous. But, um, he, but the past couple of years, he has a bulk up like big time. And so a lot of his goals in the KHL have come from the net front where he's out muscling dudes that are like six, five fucking mutants. <laughs> like, so he's, and like, you kind of see that with a guy like Marco Rossi too, how good, despite his small frame, he is a fantastic net front guy. He's absolutely willing to get in the mix. Um, who's a Dinov? Maybe not quite at that level, but he is so smart. He's able to just like manipulate the sticks defensively. He finds loose bucks. Um, so he can be a decent net front guy in his own right, but um, he can play center. He'll probably play wing here, but you're looking at, he's got, enough upside offensively that like if he's not driving a line he could play on like your second line but he's most likely a third line pivot um but he is an elite defensive forward like elite um when they when scott was actually letting him play last year he was like probably killing 90 percent of their penalties like by himself like winning faceoffs and then just doing all the dirty work defensively. He generates like shorthanded chances just with how fast he is and how good he is in transition. Like 
his change of pace too. Like he is electric. I am very, very excited to finally see him make the debut. I was nervous that like, so she would find a way to get him to sign another fucking contract. I was like pissing myself. Um, but he's got so, so many fucking tools. Um, and he definitely has grown. I could attest to that. Like just watching the past couple of years, but like he's fucking strong and he is fearless. Like one of the first clips in that highlight video, which I laughed later. I was like, I didn't realize I played or I added that much of the clip, but <laughs> blocking the shot with his face, like just didn't need to, uh, <laughs> but just willing to lay it on the line. And he apparently is already a very good quote. I love the fact that he called Kaprizov a free taxi. <laughs> <laughs> he's like yeah, yeah. You, just, you can't not get points when you play with Kirill Kaprizov dude uh, so all in all we've been waiting the way is over I'm very excited to uh, see him get a chance I'm curious to see you know what the combinations look like and where he fits in and what, what that line looks like but um, he's here great. I'm very excited so then I'm not going to get uh, like, to too excited but Mateo is correct. He is practicing between Boldy and Kaprizov currently. I think that's mostly due to the uh, uncertainty with Juleric's next health, which that pretty much kills the wild season if he can't play. But uh, that, I mean, for even for a period, that would be so fun. So, so fun. And he yeah. is uh, definitely slotting in as my third Minnesota wild son. Now that, uh, you know, the body's cold. I can accept and move on from Kalen Addison, but mm. confirmed he is coming back to Minnesota for the summer for training to hang out with the boys. So there's still like a 3% chance that I can run into him downtown Minneapolis. That'd be cool. That'd but be cool. Uh, so now, now he is supplanted my third Minnesota wild son. I can't go beyond that. I've already like accepted like three kids is the max I can manage in any scenario, yeah, real life tough. or a team so it's him it's marco rossi it is of course brock faber so by the way faber last night well i however many well favors faber doesn't even like hold a candle to bedard so i don't know why we're even talking about him but these fucking dickheads in chicago the, the bedard had a five point night last night and that idiot tweet like suck on that early nobody say fucking uh I don't know. He, he tweeted at Russo. Five, how, how many five point games has uh, Faber had? Oh wait, fuck off! Hey, fucking. There, there was someone else though that uh, it was actually great because now Russo's getting super fucking cheeky with it. Someone posted and like had his like stat splits between wearing a visor and wearing the fucking disgusting fishbowl. I understand why he's wearing it. People that choose to wear a fishbowl are weirdos. Um, but Russo replied, he's like. What's the breakdown for uh, plus minus for each? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just too and good. I mean, and the Wild have sucked this year, so it's just impressive that Brock Faber has a plus. So, like, you know what I mean? Um, that, But that game against Arizona, Brock Faber was fucking unbelievable. Like, legitimately in the first period, every time he stepped on the ice, he was like, all right, I guess I'll just take the game over with Kirill right now. And like they went to fucking work, um, especially leading up to that first goal. Just a ridiculous shift when he just decides to go dirty dancing at the blue line at full speed. It is electric, dude. Uh, he's fucking. It's just like that stutter step and then gallop. He's just like, oh, it's time. All right, new gear. The the power he generates, like with that lateral, like tomahawk looking fucking skating move with the blue line with the puck. It's insane. Um. My this God, is how Brock we said it Z. Faber versus oh, yeah. the fight square get, off. Done. Get done in the and done. Cage, boys. Get in the um, cage. And shout out Seth, who I know is going to be jumping on more regularly with Isha to cover our Monday shows. Everyone, check out Locked on Wild if you're somehow not already tuning in for those every day. Uh, but Seth also gives us, I don't know if y'all caught it, but Russo said Eck will miss a few games, but appears to have avoided anything major, which is almost like the perfect world. Because that means we might get a few games of who's Nadinov on the first line, which is just so fun. Also, go. we can't uh, lose a single game in this next like six game stretch. So also not ideal, but you know, yeah. we'll make you. Yeah. 
We'll see. We'll see. They think have seven points to make up on Nashville and how we're games. Yep. Um, uh, let's talk real quick. Any uh, late developments on Danila Yurov? Like, I know his season obviously went longer than who's Nadinov's, but any expectation on like, is he for sure staying? Is he coming here? How's he looked? What's, what's the latest? Yeah. Metalurg. They, I think they either just won their first round or they're going to games. I think they won their first round the other day. Um, he's just doing more of the same. And, Again, the the more he plays with confidence, like he legitimately is. There have been a few games with Metalurg, and I've watched a couple of playoff games where he's just taking over. And like, this isn't just an all offense. Like he is a high end defensive forward as well. But like he scored in game four or five this week, out fucking rages backhand goal. Like it was comical. Um, so he's just continuing to do more of the same. I, again, I don't, the fact that that contract that he was supposedly signing wasn't, or hasn't been like publicly been made official is interesting. Um, I still have, if I was going to lean one with the other, I would imagine he still ends up signing for one more year over there, which again, I think that's fine. Like, this is his first full year in the KHL getting real minutes. He looks phenomenal. Let him do that for the year and continue to develop, given the fact that he basically lost two years of development, like the COVID year, and then just, like, getting benched for Russian shit. Yeah. nine months um, for no reason. If he signs for another year over there, like, let him just keep doing his thing. Like, he's playing a ton. Of, he's playing more center now um, than he is wing at this point. So, um, like, you're just letting them get to develop over there and play more center. So um, this Seth almost gave me a concussion here. More like metal urge you to let Yurov come here. My God. What? A fucking... I kudos to you, Seth, but that please warn me next time. Be like caution this. If you have a history of concussions, this may be a problem for you to read. Um, Jesus. last guy we've got to talk about then because, uh, it's interesting. I didn't even realize this because Mateo commented, but I was going to ask anyways. Uh, what was Russo on? Or, yeah, what was Russo on about with first off? Is he coming back? And my question to you, Z, is seeing like who's in here, Kaprizov here and thriving, Yurov coming soon. Does that change anything for first off if he's like gotten any more experience over there? maybe doesn't have to do anything crazy, like finish the year out in Iowa for sure, but like have a real shot at pushing for a roster spot next year. Like it, it do you see first off coming here this year? Uh, I mean, their season just ended. They got waxed in the first round by Ska. Um, he looked good. I think he had one or two goals in the playoff. Like, since he went to the KHL, he's been nasty. Like, I mean, I think he's got right around 20 goals in both years. Um, he's playing like 20 minutes a night in their top six. Um, and I, I remember at the time, like, he played one AHL game, did like his ice time. And like, that was the commentary. Was like, he basically didn't like his ice time. I said, fuck you guys. I'm going back to Russia. And Billy said, okay, sure. Um, but we did say, like, that's one way to get on Billy's shit list, obviously, or really any GM, I guess. But like, wouldn't be shocked if, like, let him spend time over there. Like, and if he just lights it up, wouldn't be shocked if, like, they did give him another chance. Like, I, I hope they do because he is legitimately, like, he's nasty. Um, he was phenomenal in every big playoff game at UConn. I think he scored every single playoff game for them. Like, they made a couple of runs um, in their division there. Uh, and, I mean, he went over to Torpedo and literally immediately was in their top six, like, scoring like 0.4 goals per game adding assists he's got a he plays nasty too he could be a prick on the ice uh which i saw that in person it was i don't know how he gets away with some of the shit he does um i would if if they're willing to bring him back which there are far worse things that prospects have done and like players have done to like not get welcome back yeah of all like 
discretions. The fact that he was like, I didn't like that. Went back to Russia. It's like, all right, you fucking idiot. Like, sure, go ahead. But it's not like a permanent fuck this guy. Like, we'll trade anything we can get for back for him. We'll let him go anywhere. Like, he's a legit, legit top six winger. Like, he's got that kind of offensive upside. So I'd like to see him back. I didn't I didn't see anything about Russo's whatever he's saying about first off. So that's news to me. Sure. I love that. Um, but yeah, their season did end this week, so if they want to give him another look, like he can play left, right, either wing. He's phenomenal shot um, when he's on and like wants to be. He is a pain in the fucking ass to play against, and he brings it every shift when he feels like it. Um, there are certain games where he's just like, all right, this guy looks just not interested. Um, but yeah, he plays a lot on his off wing, and he's got a legit shot. So um, I think the last two years of the KHL have been phenomenal experience for him especially given the fact that he doesn't get in like the year off treat where he's getting benched every game like literally game one i think he scored his first game back over there last year and he's been getting like 20 minutes a night so um that's another legit prospect that you have in your system um and i think it would be a mistake to like just let him walk just because like he pissed you off which is like again very funny that he was like one game i'm out <laughs> I think you should get rewarded for that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> it's like, fuck this. I'm see you later. <laughs> I'm gonna go light it up in Russia. That's what I did. Shout out him. And I, I think that's really the difference maker, right? It'd be different if he went back to Russia and was just like meh, but like he to, went back yeah. to Russia and thrived, and Billy's like, Okay, yeah, touche. You had a point, I guess. Come yeah, on back. That's like, are you really gonna let your pride and ego get in the way? Like, you know what I mean? Like that, that's like a all right, this guy insulted me. Fuck him. Like, he's never coming back over here, no matter what he does in Russia. Like, you can't do that. The classic Cartman. Like, he basically, like, talks. What? What is it? He goes on a full rampage where he's like, what? I didn't do anything. And they're like, you know you did something. He's like, oh, fine. I, I handcuffed him to the light pole, and I told him that I poisoned his apple juice, and that the only way to get to the antidote in time was to saw through his arm. And, yeah, sorry. And they're like... How can you think that's okay? He's like, he called me chubby. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> that's what set him off. <laughs> oh, God damn it. All Makes right. Well, to me. 